I first started playing pool when I was 21. Um, my boyfriend at the time was a lot older than me and like introduced me to all his friends and proceeded to beat me at pool every single night that we would go out. And I was just like, ugh, I'm sick of losing. And so I just kept practicing to get better and better so I could beat him one day. And I actually played him last night and I beat him so bad. <laughs> so win, win, win there. I started, I guess, getting better at pool due to league, the league that I joined, but I was also practicing a lot by myself. I just put in my headphones and like, it's kind of like a zen thing for me. Like when I'm having a bad day, I'll just like play pool for fucking two hours. And like making a sick bank shot or something like that just makes you feel like a total goddess. Like you're like, oh, I'm the coolest person to walk this with the earth. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I also used to just like fall asleep watching tournaments and it's cool because you can see like old 80s tournaments with women in it like there's some really badass women players in the 80s that were like the best like out of all bca i'm pretty sure bca is like a really really tough league but yeah they wear like these crazy 80s outfits and it's like really retro and like cool <laughs> based on my demeanor and like just because i'm a giant curly haired you know crazy Amazonian person, I feel like dudes see me and like immediately just like want to beat me at the sport that I play. It's, which is great, like that's fine. But at the same time, like that energy, I'm like, ew, like ew. Like just because I'm a girl playing alone doesn't mean you have to come up and try and beat me. I would say the Grand is a really safe space for me to come and play pool alone. But sometimes I go to other pool halls and like dudes come up and they're like, hey, let me teach you how to play. Or like, hey, this is how you should be holding the pool cue. And I'm like, bro, fuck up. Like, <laughs> I will beat your ass. But yeah, you probably would. I mean, I could, yeah, <laughs> definitely. And then be like, all right, now buy me a drink. <laughs> I don't understand why men, or yeah, it's pretty much only men that do this, but they like, they're like, I need to give her this information so badly. And I'm like, I didn't ask you. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I used to, sometimes I would shark if I didn't have any money and I was like, I want to drink and I'm sad, so I'm just going to go to this like dive bar. I think I played at Barflies for some shots the other night and it was girls against dudes. I love like pairing up. I'm like, all right, girls against guys, we're going to kick your ass. Like, <laughs> and so did. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been told several times by men that just like physically, like biologically, women are predisposed to being bad at pools. <laughs> change anything about my game but i would say pool in general has a huge female presence now what advice if there was like a little five-year-old girl that was like really i want to i want to get into pool like what do i do what would you tell her um, i would tell her to not take advice from anybody who isn't good at pool and doesn't know what they're talking about and then i would tell her to be a good sport. If you lose, you lose. Shake their hand. Don't be mean. Try not to. Shit talking is fine, but keep it, keep it uh, classy. <laughs>